Okay, so this is part two of my Candles by Victoria scent, scent shot haul. So if you haven't seen part one, stop right now and look in the down bar and click on that link first. It's very important. Seriously. Are you clicking? Don't watch this if you haven't seen part one. You need to see part one first. It's very important. If you're still watching this, you've probably seen part one then. I'm going to trust you that you saw part one. Okay, so I'm going to pick up on the last remaining scent shots that I have from Candles by Victoria. Um, this one, I have been dying to, like, ever since I heard of Candles by Victoria, this is the one I was most, well, this one and another one I've been, like, most curious about. So this is Elvis, and it's supposed to smell like bananas and peanut butter. Oh, goodness gracious, everyone's yelling at the same time. Okay, I think I've got my zoo down to a minimum. So, as I was saying, Elvis. I'm gonna go ahead and smell this one. Ooh. This one smells yummy. You can smell the banana, and you can definitely smell the peanut butter. And I'm still hungry, by the way, in case y'all were wondering. I like that one. That one is gonna have to be a candle. Hey, hey, zip it. Try to make a video here. I thought. Thank you. Okay. Country berry hot cakes. <coughs> Excuse me. Ooh. This smells like when I go to IHOP and order like pancakes and they have all that jam and stuff on top of it, all the fruit. This smells good. I ordered too many bakery scents. Now I'm really hungry. I wish I knew how to make some of this stuff. Okay. Lemon pound cake. Focus on my scent shot. There you go. All right. Ooh. This one smells really good. This is another one that it wakes you up. That lemon hit me like really hard. That's good. Um. I definitely smell the lemon. I don't smell. I smell a little hint of something. I'm assuming that's the cake. But I'm pretty sure once I cut this and burn it, it'll smell. The cake aroma will kind of come out more. So my last bakery scent is fudge brownie. I love fudge brownies. And that smells like fudge brownies. OMG. I like this one a lot. Now I'm going to have to I'm gonna have to go to the store and get some fudge brownie mix now. <laughs> okay, so that was all the bakery. Now I'm going to move on to the, I think it's the house blends. Um, the first one I have is stress relief. And let me pull up my computer real quick, guys, so I can tell you, like, the descriptions of these, because they're not as obvious as the bakery sets. No, Peppa, you cannot have my scent shots. Okay, so it's supposed to be... Supposed to be lavender, peppermint, and chai tea. Ooh. I smell the peppermint, peppermint right off the bat. I'm so sorry for the disruption, guys. They don't know they're being so rude. So I smell the peppermint and the lavender, and I'm assuming the last sense, the chai tea. I've never had a chai tea, so. That smells really good. I'm, now I'm like, oh, relax after that. Is my camera not focusing? Am I blurry? That's weird. Okay, there we go. Alright. He's jealous because he doesn't get to smell the scent shots. Okay, the next one is Trick or Treat. And this one is supposed to be candy corn and buttercream crunch mixed together. Ooh, this smells really good. Oh my. Oh my my. I like this one. I, I need this one. This one's delicious. Oh, that's so good. That is yummy in my scent shot tummy. Okay, so that was trick or treat. Um, yeah, I like that one. Okay, and I got some Twilight ones. So the first one I got is Bella Swan. I mean, I just could not go to Candles by Victoria website and not order these. Uh, let me tell you what it's supposed to smell like. Uh, Victoria did 
these candles based on what the book describes them as, like their scent. And in the book they describe Bella as, Edward describes her as sweet and floral with a warm vanilla scent. So, ah, don't fall Bella. Oh, this smells good. This smells really clean and sweet and florally. It does smell sweet and florally. I like that one. That smells really nice. And the next one is Edward Cullen. Why aren't you focusing, camera? I need you to focus. Focus. There we go. Edward Cullen. And Edward is supposed to smell like dreaminess. No, I'm just kidding. Um, sunshine, lilac, and honey. Ooh. That smells really good. Another like clean kind of scent. Edward smells very clean. You can tell he had his bath before he got turned into a vampire. I don't know. <laughs> but that does smell good. That's real, like, it's real calming. Like a calming scent. It's nothing, like, crazy. Okay, and this is Twilight, and it's supposed to be a mixture of Edward Cullen and Bella Swan together. So. And I like the combination. I, I really do like the way it combined together. That one smells really good. I know I could have combined it on my own, but I was like, eh, just eh. buy it as it is. That smells really good. Okay, this one is the uh, the second one that I was like most interested in how it smelled, and it's called Fluffer Nutter. And this is talked about with uh, Say Anything Brooke. And it's supposed to be campfire marshmallow and peanut butter cookies mixed together. I like ye the Fluffer Nutter. This is going to have to be a candle. Definitely smell the peanut butter cookies and the campfire marshmallow. And it goes so good together. Like, I'm amazed that it goes really well together. Yummy. Yeah, my tummy is still growling, by the way, in case y'all were wondering. Okay. And the last house blend I got is Bahama Mama. Bahama Mama. Mama's in the Bahama. Okay. Anyways, it's supposed to be pineapple, coconut, and vanilla velvet. There's the pineapple. and coconut and yeah I can smell the vanilla a little bit ooh I like this one that one smells good and then I got a couple of Christmas scents I got peppermint bark that is good you can smell the peppermint like right out there this so reminds me of Christmas Christmas is almost here guys Christmas is coming. And, oh, I'm forgetting one. Ha, 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 just kidding. Cherry candy cane. Ooh. There's the cherry. All I really smell is cherry right now. So this one's going to have to be cut up and melted. Let's see what else I can get out of it. And the last one I got is a dupe for a company I don't think I can say. But it's bath time with who? Pooh Bear. And this one is found under the Candleman's Closet. And let me just read to you what it is real quick. It's crunchy toffee bits with generous drizzles of sweet honey. It makes this fragrance so delectable and mouth-watering. So I have never smelled the actual, like... <laughs> I have never smelled, like, the dupe that this is supposed to be for. So I'm not going to compare this in any way, um, but I was real curious on how that smelled because I don't have one of those dupe stores around me, so, um, yeah. Ah! This smells really clean. I like this. Bath time with poo might have to be a bath time scent. I like the way that smells. Oh, I'm getting a text. Okay, so that's all my scent shots. Wow. Oh, I gotta show you what I got to store them in. I bought this at HEB the other day. It's a pink container, but the money that went to it went for breast cancer research. Since it is October 1st, guys, it's the first, it's 
October, it's Breast Cancer Awareness Month, so thought I'd get this in support of breast cancer awareness, and um, this is what's going to haul my scent shots in. I'm going to keep them all in here, store them in here. Um, yeah, so definitely, I'm so glad I tried these scent shots out. Uh, I've watched numerous videos, I don't even want to admit how many videos I've seen over all this. Um, and yeah, so I placed this order last week and it took six days to get here. Keep in mind, she does hand pour all of these. And um, luckily we both live in Texas, so I didn't have to wait too long for the um, package to get here. And oh my goodness, I felt like today was the longest wait ever. Anyways, um, special note for Victoria. Um, I did read your October newsletter and I found it so cute. I love the kids page that you made for the Halloween. So adorable. Um, I also read that your daughter's birthday is on October 4th, so I wanted to tell her and uh, you, you know, happy birthday to Melissa. Um, she's actually two days younger than I am. My birthday's tomorrow, October 2nd, and I'll be 25, so that's pretty cool. We have something in common, so um, congratulations to her as well. I, I read that she's getting married. Uh, I'm getting married next June, so um, yeah, so I just wanted to tell you uh, to relay that message. Happy birthday to your daughter, and congratulations on her, you know, wedding day at the end of the month. And um, also, my mom placed an order with you. She got her candles in earlier this week, and she loves them to death. Um, as soon as I told her about your candles, she, like, I, I swear to you, that same day she ordered candles. Within the hour, she had rebought candles when I formed her. So she's loving her candles, and I'm glad she loves them. And uh, so. That's that. Uh, one last thing I want to say to you, Victoria. I am in love with this Bath & Body Works candle. Creamy pumpkin. But this candle, this scent, not the candle. This candle, I burned it so much. And it doesn't smell anymore. And if by any chance you could make a duplicate of Bath & Body Works Creamy Pumpkin. Like, this doesn't even smell like the scent anymore. It smells like just the burnt wick. Like, it's gross now. If by any chance you have a free time and you could make a candle or a scent in Creamy Pumpkin, it'd be amazing. I'd love you more than I already do. But I just want to let you know that I will definitely be placing an order with you. Um, and you can look forward to a lifelong customer. And thank you so much for all that you've done and your amazing company and candles and scent shots. And um, yeah, I guess I'll be seeing you for the next order. Um, and everyone that watched, I hope you all enjoyed this, and I hope it was helpful if any of you are trying to make uh, your first purchases or anything at all relating to Candles by Victoria, or if you're just curious about our company, message me or leave a comment if you have any questions. I know I ran through these two videos really fast, so just message me if you have any questions regarding these scents, um, and I will get back to you. So thank you all for watching.